The title of the video is Sylveon Trolls, everyone. You forgot 703 Pokemon. It would take too long. No one would watch it. Hashtag logic. Yeah, do you really think I have time to point out every flaw for every Pokemon? So, I've been trapped in my house for almost nine months now. I feel like my sanity has to be eroding away, because now that insane idea actually sounds... fun? I mean, think about it. How can I call myself the ultimate troll if I don't roast every Pokémon? Heck, I didn't even roast every Pokémon in my Alolan and Galar videos. Though, that was because those videos were made before those games were released. Still, it makes me feel like I have a lot of unfinished business. I feel like a fraud. A sham. An imposter. If you make one Among Us joke, I swear to Arceus. You know what? Fine. I'm gonna do it. I'm going to roast every single Pokemon from every region. And of course, I'll start with what the Craze fans believe is the best region. Kanto! Good old Bulbasaur, the first Pokémon. At least that's what the Pokédex claims. The most boring middle evolution of all. It's no wonder Ash never evolved his Bulbasaur. Ew. Yeah, actually, Ash made a smart decision for once. He spared his Pokémon from an ugly fate. So, if you can't get your tail wet, does that mean you can't ever take a bath? You must be very smelly. How sad that you're only known for being an asshole thanks to the anime. Remember what I said in the first ever Sylveon Trolls? How's that stealth rock working out for you? Yeah... <sighs> Looks like nothing has changed, huh? Let me get this straight. You left your closest friends and a stable job to hang out with this guy? I hope the never-ending void of the PC isn't too cold for you. Slightly more interesting than Ivysaur, but still extremely forgettable. Such a strong-looking Pokémon has to be popular in tournaments, right? Ooh, wah wah. Aw, look, it's Baby's first three-stage evolution. Keep using Harden, I'm sure you've almost defeated him. People only work for you to defeat the first gym, and that's it. I would also say that this is Baby's first three-stage evolution, but only people with no lives, aka completionists, care enough to capture you. Keep using Harden, I'm sure you've almost defeated him! Nobody cared about you until Game Freak gave you a mega evolution. You're more of a vermin than the actual vermin Pokémon. You guys ever noticed that Pidgeotto's head feathers look like red ramen noodles? You didn't evolve, your feathers just grew, don't lie. Is there anyone out there that actually likes this Pokemon? Send them to me so I can call them a liar to their face. Even sadder than Charmeleon, you're mostly known for dying. Demonized in the first episode of the anime. Well, I guess it's better than... What are we going to name this snake Pokemon? Hmm, how about snake, but backwards? backwards. <laughs> Do you have a lisp? Or do you genuinely think your name starts with a ch sound? <laughs> they say every time Pikachu breathes, the Pokemon company makes 10,000 more dollars. It must sting to not only be overshadowed by your pre-evolution, but also a recolor of yourself. Somebody get the hose! Something something Sonic the Hedgehog moving on. It took only a single generation to make two whole evolution lines completely pointless. Doesn't it haunt you that you were almost the face of the entire franchise? Only for that job to be taken from you by a rat? Don't look too closely at your shadow. You think a Pokemon that's so hard to find in the wild would be more useful on its own? Ew, you're secretly nine old guys fused together? Gross. Who dares me to poke it with a needle? I'm sure this Pokemon has spawned tons of inflation art. If you weren't exclusive to caves, then you would be the vermin of the Kanto region for sure. Oh my god, they cut off his tongue! Those monsters! Oops, forgot to spray Roundup on my lawn last night. Hey, do you need a napkin or something? You got a little something something there. You can thank Animal Crossing for ruining your reputation. This poor thing doesn't know the fate that's in store for them. 
of people say Venonat looks like Butterfree because the evolutions got swapped when they were designing the Pokémon. I say Venonat looks like Butterfree because someone got lazy. A lot of people say that Venomoth looks like Caterpie because who's up for a game of whack -a -mon? You guys think the newer generations have lazy designs? This guy's just three Pokémon smushed together. Sucks to be known as the anti-mascot of the franchise, huh? This Pokémon must be a big weeaboo. Here comes the franchise's biggest punching bag! Well, better to be laughed at than ignored, I suppose. Steal any hats lately? I guess this is where they got the term going ape shit. I'm sure if Vulpix didn't exist, then you would be the favorite fire doggo of the franchise. But alas, the weebs win this round. Oh wow, it's a legendary! No wait, the anime's just stupid. Did you know? The swirl on Poliwag's belly is supposed to be its intestines showing through its skin. Hope you weren't eating just now. We took photos of this Pokémon before and after we told them they weren't in the Galar Pokédex. I would roast you, but you're going to teleport away before I finish. Yep, they're gone. To think all this time some bitter old man was keeping this Pokémon from appearing in the card game all because he was holding a spoon. And yet he ignored the guy holding two spoons? Some lawsuits make absolutely no sense. Please put some pants on. No, wait, the pants actually make it weirder, never mind. Anyone else grossed out by this guy's lips? And people thought Jinx was bad. Of course Pokemon number 69 has to have that face. Oh god, that's even worse! I'm guessing Game Freak didn't have enough data to keep one of the L's in your name. And here we have Kanto's Vermin of the Sea. Highlights of this Pokemon include... One second of them destroying a building in the anime opening! I would make fun of how this guy doesn't have any feet, but take a moment to imagine him with feet. Yeah, it's totally gross. If it's one thing Pokemon designs are known for, it's... Consistency. My little pony, my little pony. Ah, somebody get some water! Behold, a Pokemon so stupid that people have resorted to eating it instead of training it. I'm getting Parasect vibes from this guy. One of the most annoying Pokemon to get a picture of. You guys think the newer generations have lazy designs? This guy's just three Pokemon smushed together. Whoa, deja vu. Anyone else getting hungry? Where did evolution go so wrong? Seriously, people think the ice cream Pokemon is uncreative? Remember kids, don't pollute or else you'll find one of these in your sink. So like, does the tongue stay out or...? Okay, these two are right next to each other in the Pokedex. This can't be a coincidence. It's a conspiracy, I tell you! If you were a slowpoke in your past life, this is honestly the best case scenario. Get out of here, Clefable! I already trolled you. So, is Game Freak ever gonna give us Crystal Onyx, or are we stuck with this boar fest? Why does this guy look like he just stepped out of a mud puddle? Hello, police? Yeah, I found him. These guys are begging to be eaten, and people would still rather eat Slowpoke. Do I even need to repeat myself? They're not eggs, they're seeds. Okay, tell that to the one in the back that has a yolk sticking out of it. Nobody cared about you until you became Alola's biggest joke. You guys really need some therapy. Oh wow, cool new fighting Pokemon! Too bad they're completely useless in the upcoming gym. Oh, so that's where Golbat's tongue went. Yeah, now's not an appropriate time for these two. I can't imagine how uncomfortable hugging this Pokémon would be. Hey look, it's the first Pokémon! I'm assuming the eggs in their pouches can hatch into Happenies. So why do they let others eat them? That's kind of fucked up. And the award for the most forgettable Pokémon in the region goes to... Better keep an eye on your baby. They might end up like those two. Fun fact! These guys can mate with Weepin' Bell. Not surprising, honestly, considering how much they have in common. All style, no substance. Imagine being named after the god of the sea in the beta version of the game, only for your name to be dumbed down in the final version. 
I don't know if you're aware of this, but your name is not... hey -ya! <sighs> I see we still haven't learned our lesson. Hide your moms, everybody. I bet this guy's really good at making salads. Yeah, no, I'm not touching this one. Hobbies include... Getting blown up by Voltorb. <laughs> hey, do you want to know this guy's Japanese name? It's Boober. <laughs> Boober! Ah, the inferior Heracross. I know a good way to put all those Taurus Ash abandoned to good use. Who's up for a barbecue? Oh, you don't eat steak? Not a problem. Kind of sad that your mega evolution makes you less intimidating than your normal form. Look everyone, it's Kanto's own Surf Slave! Ew, Mew, you need to start cleaning up after yourself. Ah, my very own kin. That contract's still up for grabs, by the way. Just saying. So if your body's made up entirely of water, what would happen if I leave you in the desert? I take it back. Imagine trying to hug this Pokémon. It took six generations to get Flare Blitz, and yet you're still useless. You know what they say, some things never change. Poor Thing became a scapegoat for a problem that Pikachu caused. Can't have our mascot be held accountable. Real talk, who even cared about this Pokémon before Twitch Play's Pokémon happened? Ooh, who's a big scary boy? It's no wonder you became extinct. I can see why you were labeled as the False Prophet. Look at those eyes! Oh, hi, Genesect! No, wait. Whoops! I must have accidentally left a Digimon in the Kanto folder. My bad! You're less of a Pokémon and more of an obstacle. Do you want your chicken frozen, microwaved, or fried? This is supposed to be a dragon? Looks more like a lowly worm to me. Name a bigger downgrade. Aw, oh, is someone quinky cause they're having an existential crisis? No, wait, this is the first Pokémon, if you don't count Arceus. Whew! One generation down, seven more to go. What have I done?